These are the big institutional name stocks, the, the innovative cutting edge companies, the big ones that money can move in and out of millions of dollars can move in and out of these and really not cause much of a hiccup in price on many of them. So let's frame it up. This is a great way to systematize, systematize your approach and tactics to find opportunities. I look at the max list several times a day, every day. So let's do it. S&P 500, hanging in there near highs. Good to see. Leveraged S&P 500, hanging in there near highs. Good to see. NASDAQ 100, hanging in there, not near highs. Look at this. Near highs, not near highs. Still underperforming. Same thing true with the leveraged one. IWM, hanging in there. That's good to see. Small caps, small cap leverage, hanging in there, not as strong. Mid cap, a little bit stronger. And then this one focuses on a lot of the max list stocks and it's hanging in there. All right, right there. What does that tell you? At this point in time, a lot of the big name, big cap stocks are hanging in better. It's also telling us a lot of the big name technology stocks are underperforming a little bit. That's knowledge that's power for you. What does it tell us? Don't get too wrapped up in a lot of the technology areas. There you go. So now let's go to the max list. Apple. Gosh, I think this is a technology related stock, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Underperforming. Look at this. I mean, folks, here's Apple hitting near, right near lows for the day in the 200 day. Here's SSO above all the moving averages and near all time highs. SSO. Look at the day chart. Apple. Right there. What does it tell you? Don't think I need to look much at Apple right now. There you go. Now, am I knocking Apple? No, no, that's not the point is we have a limited amount of money and a limited amount of time. Why don't we look for the best opportunities at this point in time? It's not. Amazon. Basing still above the 200 day it was a good run for us before we owned this right here. There was a buy right there. That was a good run. And now it's starting to underperform. But possibly if it starts to lift above these lines right here, which is the 50 day, there could be an opportunity, but overall rather choppy. See this base right here? How, how nice that was so far that nice basis hasn't formed yet. That's knowledge. That's power. Alibaba there. Oh, it's maybe it's going to bounce. Don't play the maybe game. Strength begets strength. There ain't nothing here. Move on. Just leave it alone. Baidu, similar situation. There's really nothing pow much powerful with it. Okay. Now maybe it's going to bounce off the 200 day, but you'll have to wait and see. Okay. Facebook. Now we own Facebook. Look at the difference here. Alibaba. Yeah, I don't know. Facebook. Oh, gee whiz. See the difference? We own Facebook from lower. We're in good shape. Maybe forms a handle here and takes off. Google, people own Google from in here. It's hanging in here. Look at this chart. Just study this chart right here. There's face, there's Google. There's Baba, Baba, Google. What looks better? Google, that's where we're involved with it. Maybe what it's gonna do here, folks, and this is for everybody. Look at that, go sideways, form a little handle here for a couple of days and then lift through those tops on volume, <clears throat> that would be very nice. We're in it, we'll buy more. Goldman Sachs, look at this. Look at that base right there. Financial related, related to the ETF video that we made. See these tops right here? That's very constructive. See the volume on that bar pickup? That's good. Now, what does it need to do? It needs to push through those lines in a good market with really heavy volume. Will it do that? I don't know. You know, it's like, oh, come on. I don't know the future. Nobody knows the future. This is a great quote. When we accept we, the fact we don't know the future, we see the future much clearer. All right. So just something we live by. But I like the base. I liked the base here. I like the base here. And we'll be ready. MasterCard. There, this isn't charging ahead right now. I, that's dad humor for you. Leave it or no. Microsoft. Now look at this. Perhaps 
it's going to form a, a little handle right here. And I'll draw it for you. Just like that. What's one slight negative? Two slight negatives. Not a lot of accumulation in it because there's not a lot of big up volume bars. And there's distribution here and there was distribution there on Thursday. And it closed relatively weak on Friday. So there's not a lot of strength in that chart. Netflix, they ain't even renting this stock. Look at this. Look, it did it again. I made a mark for the VIP. Look at that. There's nothing good at this point in time. Leave it alone. Okay. NVIDIA. Oh, look at that. You want to see something really neat? See this kind of a cup with a little handle formation? And I told the VIPs, if it takes out that downward slope and trend line, that could be a good starter spot. What will we look for? We'll look for volume if it does it. Advance it one day. Friday. Payday. Now, you want to see something awesome? We always combine daily with hourly or 30-minute charts. Here's the daily. There's the hourly. Look at that volume pickup. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. Folks, they were voting. Here's the 30-minute chart. My apologies. Here's a look at that volume pickup. Is that sweet? When it was pushing through this line and running, we were buying. And we bought a total of, I do believe, three times. Pyramiding. So we're in good shape. Now, pausing right up here. It'll be nice to see it follow through. We'll watch and see what happens. Looks good. Square. There's really nothing much happening here, folks, is there? Nope. Move on. Tesla. It just it can't get it's just chopping around at this point in time. Maybe it'll lift off, but it's not a high probability pattern. So you got to be a little bit more careful. Twitter underperforming. Visa maybe forming a little base right here and it'll lift through those tops. There's Visa. There's MasterCard. See MasterCard? See the moving averages? Here's Visa. Which one's stronger? Visa, MasterCard. Boom, right away, it tells you. If I'm gonna do one of these types of stocks, that's the one. There's the power for you. Anyway, there's a quick overview. The max list, giving us idea of where there's strength and where there's weakness. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.